Hey guys, welcome to part two of our knee and ankle mobility series. Today we're going to talk about how to improve knee mobility, especially knee rotation. Please make sure to watch our first video, so the part one of knee and ankle mobility, because there we're going to discuss what is important on cars and how to improve cars and why we're training cars. So enjoy the video and keep on watching. Okay, before we jump into the two exercises we show you to improve knee rotation, knee mobility, we first want to discuss what's the primary function of the knee. Of course, we need our knee for walking, especially flexion and extension. Therefore, a lot of people think only flexion and extension is important when it comes to just the knee movement. But you're wrong. So. The fundamental function of the knee should always be internal and external rotation. Um, before even trying to improve knee flexion and extension, try to make sure you have sufficient knee internal and external rotation. So with that being said, let's go to our case study. So a beautiful case study is just a normal ACL tear. So when, when it comes to ACL rehab, the people often have to wear an um, orthopedic splint. They only are able to move in flexion and extension. But the first thing you should be rehabbing is internal and external rotation of the knee. Of course, it is important to also work on the extension because full extension is really hard to rehab if the rehab process starts after three or four or six months. So of course, um, extension is um, really important to rehab as quickly as possible. Flexion, when it comes to flexion, is easier to rehab full, full knee flexion, but please make sure to improve or work on rotational capacities, so internal and external rotation, if you had an ACL tear, for example, right away with small movements, with small cars where you don't have pain. So remember, your ACL got replaced by an artificial ACL or a small piece of your hamstring or semitendinosus or semimembranosus. So this is very, very stable and tough. So almost not possible to tear that ACL again right away, especially if you do small and fine movements and just train your internal and external rotation with small cars. And if you feel small pain, a little pain, then just go out a little bit of the cars and just move your knee, but not only in flexion and extension. And I hope I made this clear for you and you understand, understood and this small case study that is very important that you um, train your internal rotation and your external rotation of your knee, not only your flexion and extension, okay? So let's jump in to our two exercises. We prepared for you to improve knee mobility, especially knee rotation. So the first exercise that we will dive into are cars, knee cars, and we use core sliders. So I use a core slider, but you can use socks or a towel as well. And you start in knee flexion and have ankle dorsiflexion as well. This way you can minimize movement coming from the ankle. Radiate, and you can have your hands behind you to stabilize your upper body. And then from there, go into external rotation actively and you see how my foot just follows my ankle, uh, my tibia movement. And from here, I then slide further into knee extension with external rotation. Don't go into full extension because normal people usually don't have rotational capacities in full knee extension. Unless you're hypermobile, this is probably not possible for you. So just stay shy of knee extension and then rotate internal rotation as far as you can and then from here come back up into knee flexion and down internal rotation 
rotate at the bottom and come back up. So this is variation number one. Variation number two is you plant your foot and it stays right there, stays rooted, okay? So it doesn't move. You start in knee flexion, dorsiflexion, and then you rotate actively into external rotation. From here, lean back, and then with that rotation, with external rotation, you go back until you reach almost knee extension. And from here, come forward, rotate, and back. Almost full extension into flexion, rotate. So this is the variation number two of these cars. And you'll notice there is a huge different difference to the cars we showed you in the first video, these ones. Because now you can really focus on rotation and not so much on flex flexion and extension, but a lot more, there's a lot more focus on rotation and you'll feel it in your knee when you're doing it right. So this exercise is focusing on knee internal rotation. A lot of people um, a struggle with knee internal rotation more than knee external rotation. So to get a better feeling for knee internal rotation and how you should activate knee internal rotation, this is a very, very good and efficient knee internal rotation activation drill um, we use to improve the awareness of internal rotation through the cars, um, which you can apply to the half cars, which Leslie um, showed you um, before. So get in a sideline position. From here, I just have this um, ankle weight to support my knee so it doesn't get hurt on the ground. Just lay down 90 degree angle here in your knee and <laughs> We want to start applying pressure with our big toe onto the ground. From here, I lift up my ankle, I'm still pushing the big toe into the ground. I want to get the ankle as high as I can while applying pressure with my knee here. So this is the highest I can go. I still have full tension here in my knee area and my ankle area and I'm slowly controlling it down. One more rep. Still everything is engaged. 100% pressure with my big toe and with my knee in the ground. Nice and controlled. So you feel your knee internal rotation very good here in this drill. There's not much ankle inversion here because the pressure that your big toe um, has onto, um, on the ground and you're only elevating your heel and this is a very good activation drill as I said for internal rotation of the knee. Apply this at home, try it at home and um, start carefully. Maybe you should not apply 100% pressure first, start slowly ramp up um, until you feel comfortable with this exercise and have fun with it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Part three of our ankle and knee rotational mobility series will be improve your ankle mobility, especially ankle rotation. If you want more information about mobility training, then visit our website. The link is in the description below.